Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing how I made my Kleenex mason jars. These make cute decor in your house and would also make great gifts. I chose really bright colors because spring is coming up here soon. And if you want to see how I made these, keep watching and subscribe if you are new to my channel. Bought the 12 pack one quart canning jars from Walmart. I like these jars because they don't have any wording engraved in it like the ball mason jars do. I take my lid off of my jar and the first thing you want to do is clean the entire outside of your jar using paper towels and rubbing alcohol. This helps the chalk paint adhere to the jar better. I'm using chalk paint on my jars. The first color I'm doing is a pretty blue color and it's called Lagoon and I buy my chalk paint at Walmart. Make sure to shake up the paint really good and then I like to paint the rim of the jar first. I'm using an Apple Barrel brand paintbrush from Walmart and I would not recommend this. The bristles kept falling off of the brush. After I finish the top part, then I flip my jar around and going in the same direction, I paint the rest of the jar. My next jar is going to be a pink color. The chalk paint I'm using is Ballet Slipper. I will continue with the same process as the other jar and also I wanted to mention my go-to paint is always chalk paint. I like to use it for pretty much every project that I do. Now I'm just painting my last jar a yellow color and it is called Maze. Then I did second coats of paint on all three of the jars and you want to make sure it's fully dry before you do a second coat and I think I waited a few hours. When I was doing my second coat I noticed that my brush would sometimes take off a little bit of the first coat of paint. If that happens then just dab some paint onto that spot instead of brushing over it and then later when it has dried a little bit just go back over it and do a brush stroke over it. And I just let the jars dry overnight and the next day I sprayed Chiron clear glaze spray over them and I would recommend using some type of sealer over the jars. And here's how they look with the paint. I just love these bright colors and after I sprayed the sealer I waited another day to add the vinyl and I will just show you really quickly how I made the decal in design space. I'm going to have the mason jars say bless you so I'm going to click on text and select font and I'm going to use weather Sunday and I downloaded this off of defont.com so I'm going to type in bless you 
And then I'm going to ungroup these letters and I am going to um, connect them. So I'm going to hit ungroup over here and then I'm just going to start connecting the uh, letters together. Okay, so I like how that looks and then I am going to select all of this and I am going to click weld. This will make it all one image and you can see over here it's one layer. And another thing that I like to do um, is click on text and I'm going to type in weather Sunday here. Um, if you click on weld and if you click out of your project, when you go back into it, it won't show what font it is. And I just like to use this as a little hack um, just in case I cannot remember what my font was. I've had that happen before and I cannot figure out what the font was. So then I can kind of just put it to the side and I click on hide. So now I want to make this three inches wide. So I'm just going to select it. And over on the sizing here, I will select three inches and I am doing three mason jars. So I'm going to hit duplicate twice and then I will just click on make it. Okay, so it looks like I have it all here. I'm going to click continue and I have my dial set to vinyl and I'll just show you on the machine how I cut this out. I placed my vinyl on my mat. I'm using white matte Oracle 651 vinyl. I wanted to go with the matte instead of the glossy vinyl because I wanted the whole look to have more of a matte finish. Next, I cut out my vinyl and start weeding. Here they are all weeded out and I grab my transfer tape. I like to use the Duck brand clear contact paper and I place the transfer paper on top of the vinyl and I just rub it down with my scraper really good. Then I peel off the backing and I've noticed it helps uh, for me to peel away the backing of the vinyl away from the transfer tape. Next, I place my vinyl on the mason jar. I like to just push the vinyl down really good with my fingers and then take off the transfer tape. Sometimes the vinyl doesn't stick to the jar. It pulls back up with the transfer tape. So I just push the transfer paper back down and press over the vinyl again with my fingers. I reused the same transfer paper for the other two vinyl decals and then placed these on the other two mason jars. I bought these perfect fit round Kleenex boxes from Target to put in the jar and I'll link these down below. You want to pull the top off, then you want to take the paper away from that circular ring and this has little slits in it for the Kleenexes to go through.
Then take the Kleenexes out of the round cardboard and I'm actually not going to use that at all. I place the Kleenexes in the jar and place the paper on top of the jar and it fits perfectly. Then I just take the lid of the jar and screw it on. I do the same thing for the other jars. Then I grab some twine and wrap it around the jar and make a bow and you can get creative with this and add flowers or anything you would like. And here's how it looks when it's done. I think these turned out super cute. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new and hit the notification bell if you don't want to miss any of my videos.